Today we're going to talk all about choosing a science curriculum for the 2023-2024 school year. I can't believe it's that time already, but it is, so let's dig in. Hi, my name is Sarah and this is Geeky Abode. This is where I love to share everything homeschool, family, and a little bit of life's adventures. Today's video is a fun collaboration that is a collaboration between homeschool families that like to focus on secular curriculum choices. This collaboration was set up by Nicole over the Secular Free Homeschool and I will link both her channel down below as well as a playlist that way you can go watch everybody's videos. Today, today we're talking all about science for the up and coming school year. We are possibly going to have a science heavy school year. And the reasoning behind that is we are really enjoying science at this season in life. My daughter has expressed interest also in the science fields as well as art. So I want to make sure that I'm listening to my kids and I'm providing opportunities for them to learn in the way that they want to learn. So that is leading us to think about doing more than one science this year. Some of the curriculum tools that I'm thinking about this year are we love moving beyond the page and that is basically set up more of like a unit study it is also common core aligned so it is going to cover a wide variety of science topics during the school year we also enjoy blossom and root which is usually really focused on one sort of area of science and another thing that we like is harbor and sprout I'd like to take a look at the science topics that are being covered and some of the curriculum options that I would be considering. Moving beyond the page, like I said, is Common Core Align, so it is going to cover a wide range of science topics. Some of the ones included in this year's Moving Beyond the Page curriculum are weather, sound, the water cycle, and the rainforest. Next up, I would look at Blossom and Root. Blossom and Root for year two is covering plants and I believe mushrooms. So that was really more of like a botany study. And then I think about where we need to fill in some blanks or where there are some interests that we have that are not being covered by some of the curriculum that we're possibly going to choose during the year. Things I like to make sure that I add into any curriculum are games. We really enjoy game schooling and one of my favorites is the Professor Noggins Trivia Games. They have those in such a wide variety of topics. There's usually a topic for any sort of concept that you happen to be studying. We just worked on an astronomy unit and the astronomy trivia game has been a perfect add-on to that curriculum. You just grab a card, you go through the trivia, you can use it, either use it in game form or you can just use it as trivia questions. And it's amazing what you can remember when you're doing it in such a fun way like that. So that's what we have it. Might seem a little bit jumbled, but what I like to do is look at some of the curriculum options that I'm considering, see what they have for concepts that are at my kid's grade level, around my kid's grade level. I then like to leave enough open opportunity for some interest-led concepts that we could fit in during the year and look at the big picture to see if we're covering all of the concepts and topics that I want to cover for that school year. I will have an upcoming video of over all of the detailed selections that we have made for our school year for science, but this is kind of the process that I go through when I'm thinking and planning for science for our school year. I will link the collaboration down below, that way you can go watch all the other videos, and I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much, and let me know what some of your favorite science curriculums are. I'd love to know down below, and have a great day. Bye. Thank you.